Assalamu alaikum everyone. I really hope that you guys are well, inshallah. What you've read on the thumbnail is actually correct. That is true. I have actually decided to quit my job. It's actually already done at this point. And in this video, I'm going to be talking you through some of the reasons for why I made the decision and also take some of your questions from Instagram and basically try to answer them to the best of my ability. Now, I know it sounds so crazy because I was on my maternity leave and then I went back for two months and then now I've decided to quit my job. There are multiple reasons reasons for it I think the major one that stood out for me was that I was actually put working part-time and I've mentioned that before I was working part-time right now basically I really thought about the whole situation and after a few months I'd have to go back full-time which means leaving early morning coming home around 6 7 p.m and my baby actually goes to sleep around 8 p.m so I'd get like an hour with him and that too that cranky hour because it's, he's it's almost his bedtime he's usually tired and cranky around that time and let me be honest, I didn't want that for myself. I uh, I wanted more time with my baby and I think it's just so early on in his life. Like it's literally for the first few years, I want to be there for him. And once he gets busy with like school, I'll have all the time in the world to go back and join work if I want to. And, you know, I worked in corporate for about seven years. so I've got good enough experience to actually go back and find a job if I want to later on. But I just felt now wasn't the time for it. And the other reason is... The fact that I wanted to start a business and if you guys have been here long enough you know that I actually did start a business a while back and it didn't work out or well it was working kind of but the progress was really slow and the reason for that was because I didn't have time on my hands to actually go and film content or you know promote my business because most of the times that most of the time that I had it was spent just at my workplace which is normal for a nine to five by the time you get home it's dark outside you don't have to, the energy to go and film anything or do anything for the business but you know I gave that a try doing it whilst working but now I'm also a mum so it's almost impossible for me to actually work start a business and also be a mum so you know it, the choice was quite difficult but I did want to start this modest clothing line which I've been dreaming of for almost I don't know like a decade as long as I can remember I, it's my dream to actually start a clothing business I think one of the reasons for that is because I have always struggled with find, finding clothes that are fit the standard of modesty that I want to see in outfits or clothes and I really want to you know serve that to my community provide those options to women who do want to use those options or want to dress uh, that way so I've just been very motivated to actually do this and when I was kind of thinking about the whole situation this kept going on in my head and I kept thinking to myself this is a sign from Allah you know he's making the circumstances as such that I you know start my thing and that is the only thing that I keep thinking about and that is the only thing that I want to do in the future and I just thought to myself you know like I will have a million reasons to not do this and every single time I've decided to do this I've had reasons to not quit my job because okay let me just you know buy this let me meet these financial needs let me try and do this first and then I'll move on to um, starting a business there's always a reason to not quit but I have to do it like I am in my 20s right now and want to come out of my 20s feeling great about the fact that I challenged myself to do something which nobody in my family has ever done but starting a business you it is really helpful if you've got family members who do something similar you can get help from them but I'm so used to these kind of situations being the oldest daughter I have always had to go experience things for, for the first time by myself without any guidance because I'm also the oldest cousin in my family so like I'm really that person who goes out and explores and learns from experience rather than from other people just because I don't have anybody to in my family to guide me so yeah that's uh, that's kind of the situation and the reasons for why I decided to quit my job and start something that I truly love and believe that I can execute with a bigger purpose inshallah now in terms of my business I want to keep it really transparent honest with you guys it is not easy to start a business and I've done it before and I I know how much work and time and effort goes into this. So this time around, I don't want to keep it a secret. Usually I would keep it, like in the past when I started the business, I was it was like a secret. I did all the work behind the scenes. But I want to record my journey. I want to see myself struggling and share my wins and my losses and everything with you guys so you can see what I'm actually doing and how I'm executing and what the struggles are of starting a clothing line by yourself without any help from any family members because there's literally no one who actually is in the clothing industry especially in the modest clothing industry so 
you know just i just want to document the whole journey this whole journey for you and for myself so that it inspires someone so that you know it's something that i can look back to my children my baby can look back to and see what mom did and even if i fail i don't mind like i know failing is part of your life and at least i know that i tried you know i gave it my best i tried to do as much as i could and basically my all and even then it didn't work out it's fine it's from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he doesn't want me to do it so i i'll basically accept it as being something which is part of my destiny part of allah's plan for me but at least i tried you know i don't want to like the last time i did it I always had the guilt that if I promoted it properly or if I worked harder on it it would have been fine but now is my chance to actually use all the sources all the energy in the right direction and try to make it work and inshallah I with your help of course it doesn't it's not going to happen without you guys so with your help I am going to try and make this a brand which is basically serving you guys and with your help inshallah I am going to make it work yeah that's a kind of the situation and reasons for why i've come to this point and also doing something which is of my own will allow me to of course spend more time with my son be at home and you know execute everything which is perfect all is to basically execute all of those ideas which are in my head and basically serve the community in my way and have all of these outfits and clothes that i always plan in my head out there visible physical ready to wear for me and for you guys and of course there's money involved and i'll get a little bit of money but i am not trying to get rich from this business i'm just trying to earn just enough so that you know it meets my needs and it's the money is going back into the business to produce something more every single time. Like a one-stop shop for all the hijabis for everyone and it's it's not going to be a luxury brand. I I am going to make it affordable for everybody because I really want people to have easy access to modest pieces. Like if you want to wear something modest, it shouldn't be so expensive if you get what I mean. And I know there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes which makes the products expensive for a lot of people, but you know, I'm going to try and cut the cost down on my end and reduce the profit margin as much as I can making sure that you know it's easily accessible and possible for people to wear and feel great and confident in what they're wearing inshallah i have actually already thought about the name and have already started the page or kind of created a page and i will leave those in the video for you i'm going to be calling it azka the label just because i think the word azka is actually in the quran and it is such a beautiful word it means the highest level of purity and i wanted my name i didn't really want my name to be in the business but i wanted the name of the brand to be something which serves a meaning and purpose so i thought of so many different ideas and i even tried uh, like asking you guys on instagram you gave ideas like haya by azka that was the most common one but i feel i feel like that's been overused so many people actually have that business and when you're registering your company if there's already similar businesses it's kind of difficult and also i want it to be slightly unique as well and i feel like azka the label would be quite unique and it's something that is not there already yeah that's kind of the reason behind it and i hope you love the name as much as i do and as your brand like that's my purpose that's what i want people to think and believe that it is your brand you know you're paying money to purchase stuff but honestly the work that will go on behind the scenes it will always keep you um as the first priority and the products that are being served or products that are coming out they will always serve a purpose to you inshallah that's my goal and aim that it does what i'm uh, aiming for it to do inshallah now i've got a long list of things that i need to do um i have a name i need to start looking for manufacturers i need to start thinking of the designs i do actually have designs for the first collection it is autumn winter so it will be something warm for the first collection and then when we get to summer we start to work on something a bit more summery so dresses inshallah i love dresses so you will definitely be seeing dresses and slowly will make it bigger and better i will be making so many mistakes so forgive me for that as well in advance if i do make a mistake try to guide me with kindness and i will try to better myself in the aspect of business inshallah i hope that kind of clears your thoughts and feelings and quite clears out your questions i'm going to try and take some of your questions that you actually send on instagram one of them is what is the main reason for doing this which i've already explained what is your dream business which i've already said as well what else a lot of duas from you guys you guys are asking, like making dua for me that inshallah how, how to start a business in detail step by step if you can share well 
that's what we're going to be learning together inshallah so once i i am an ex expert i'll definitely film a video explaining each step and making sure that you know it's a guide which is out there for people who also want to do something similar to me so yeah i think that's pretty much everything and i hope that's cleared everything for you if you haven't noticed already which i'm sure you have i have actually purchased a new camera because i really want to vlog in good quality better audio i've been planning to do this for ages but just lack of time but now i have some time and for the next few months i really want to make the most of what i truly love and one of them is actually youtube as well i love filming for youtube because i think i'm able to express my ideas in detail explain myself and you know hear your thoughts and although my audience on here my community is smaller than instagram but i just love being on youtube there's just always so much motivation on my end to actually film from you film for you yeah i hope you loved the little video if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe leave me some duas keep me in your special duas whenever you pray inshallah i'll always keep you in mind until next time look after yourselves and lots of love and duas your way and i shall see you very soon in the next video allah hafiz